All right, here we are, video number two for YouTube. All right, so now the night, the, the biggest mistakes. It's important that you know about mistakes so you don't make them. Learn from other people's problems. Learn from other people's mistakes. Most businesses make these mistakes. They don't optimize their videos for search engine. As I mentioned in the first video about YouTube, YouTube is Google, all right? It is intimately connected and whenever you do a search, do a, go just do a search for something you're interested in, up pops a video. Videos are very high up in Google's pantheon of important stuff, okay? And so when you're doing your video, you got to think through it a little bit. What are the top 20 keywords that describe my video? And of course, my video is pertaining to my business. It has keywords that you use or that you use um, in your copy to drive your clients. Remember your ideal client, remember them, and you're writing for them. Put yourself in their shoes. What is it that they most need to know from you, to hear from you, and what are those 20 words that they're going to search for online when they're looking for you or your service? For example, moving company, moving company, they're looking for a moving company. So I want to make sure that when I'm doing videos for a moving company, I'm talking about a moving company. I'm talking about movers. I'm talking about furniture. I'm talking about all of the top 20 keywords. Write them down. When you make your videos, make sure you put them in there and put them in your description and all of those things. That's a happy thing. Um, Another reason, another big mistake people make is that the videos don't provide enough value. You're not giving actionable tips. You're not giving um, information that people go, hey, you know what? That makes a lot of sense to me. I'm, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Hey, that's pretty cool. You know your business very deeply. Share, share, share. This is the, this is the new wave, okay? We have to share our information, our expertise in order to create this community. So when you're thinking about value, when we do our videos on content, I'll tell you exactly here's some ideas. For example, here's one right now in this video. I want you to think about the past customers and clients that you've had and what are the questions they ask you? What is it that they most want to know? How much is it going to cost? How? Um. <laughs> what does it? What is it that they most want to know from you? What are the questions they ask? Those are the subjects of your videos. All right. There's something called Google AdWords. There's something called Yahoo Questions. There's also, I believe, a uh, YouTube Questions. Go to these places and see what are the questions that people are asking that connect to your business right now and answer them. I'm getting a ton of questions about YouTube, about all the social media and how people can navigate it without going in totally insane. This is the reason for these videos. Okay, These are frequently asked questions. We all have lists of them, so use those as your topics. Okay, um, Not having a call to action stupid because people need to know what you want them to do. You got to tell people. This is a new environment. This is a new wave for people. You need to tell them. I want you to go to my Facebook page and like me. All right. I want you to sign up for my blog. That's what I want you to do today. Go and sign up for my blog because then you'll get all these videos coming to you on a regular basis right in your email. So do that right now. I'll wait. All right, enough waiting. Okay, um, the fi the uh, not the final mistake, but one of the biggest mistakes, also last of my little tip here, is that uh, the videos aren't really consistent. And if you're putting up videos that have to do with your business, and all of a sudden there's this wacky video that doesn't seem to fit anywhere, people aren't going to really they're not going to know what you're doing. They're not going to get it and they're just going to walk away. They're going to be like, you know what? That's great, but bye-bye. Unless it's really entertaining or it has value or whatever, unless you can connect it in some way, people are logical. People really do need to see 
uh, a linear sort of pattern to what you're doing. So just be aware of that. You must tell them what you want them to do. You must be linear in your thinking and you must really think about your keywords. Okay, does that help? So that's today's topic about making mistakes and uh, the next video is we're really going to dig deep into content and what it is that you're going to need to create uh, for your uh, videos. What are, what are you really going to need to put together that is going to drive engagement, drive community, okay? Before we leave this video though, I want to talk a little bit about some basics. Some basics with video production. I have a, a course called the Video Video Course, see right here at the bottom? And if you're watching this video, please go to my blog and sign up for the blog. What you will get is the password to this video video course. This does talk about, you know, real basics about how, what you need to do, what needs to happen in terms of equipment and microphones and cameras and all that stuff. It does have some of those basics in there and then it also helps you with the content. So if you're watching this video right now and you're really interested in doing video, please go to my blog and sign up and I will send you the password to the video video course. Alright? Cool.